what two videos in one day on a sunday yep you guys want to go to oklahoma with me i'm gonna bring you along i'm gonna bring an extra battery too because this gopro likes to come on whenever it feels like it and it did that the other day and i had to borrow a battery from jeff to finish the video so we're going to bring an extra battery and then we're going to stop at jeff's after we come back from oklahoma now i am not going to do a time lapse of driving there it is the most boring drive ever i okay i just let you have to go potty but i gotta leave did you want to come in come on <laughs> here's what you have to do to get her in and she knows this i got treats you want chicken strip come on bribery works every time she'll sit there and do her little dance let's get you a treat let me go get one uh, let's let her just pick one oh that's a bonus there Pick one out. What'd you get? You didn't get none. I know what you want. You want a chicken strip. So I'll put it there on top. Yep. That's all she gets. All right, Rooster. I got to go to town. See you when I get back. All right, guys. I tell you what, man. This world, it just doesn't... Uh, nothing ceases to amaze me anymore so i leave the house i'm hungry so i'm gonna stop at mcdonald's and get a couple of you know Mc egg mcmuffins or something okay and so i pull up to the drive-thru well the drive-thru menu's broke you know it's one of them electronic strings or screens but it don't work and I can't remember what number it is I usually order and uh, yeah there's no sign on it saying out of order that's what we used to do in the old uh, in the old days if something broke you put an out of order sign on it and you had good enough managers that would hey man we got to get this fixed nope not there because it's been broke for two weeks yep so I tell them yeah I want an egg McMuffin and I, w I want the combo, you know, with the orange juice and, you know, the hash brown. Okay. She goes, okay. I said, what number is that? She doesn't know. I'm like, how do you not know? You work here. So, but she got, she under I thought she understood what I ordered. Nope. Nope. I get the food. And when I pull up to the drive-thru, excuse me, I say... Why don't you guys just put a paper menu, tape it up there? And she looked at me and she goes, what's that? Oh, at this point, I'm wanting to beat my head on the wall because, oh, man. Oh. All right, so I get my food and I pull away. I know better. You don't do that at McDonald's. You don't just grab the bag and pull away. Yep, I did it. And I get out on the highway, I rummage through the bag. Of course, there ain't no napkins in there, not a one. Nope, nope. No napkins. So I open what I thought was gonna be my egg, you know, sausage egg McMuffin. No, took a big bite right away. It tasted like syrup. It's one of them nasty McGriddles. And I ate it, I was hungry. And yeah, that's like, if you, you know, diabetes in a wrapper right there hey man let's make some bread and pour syrup on it and then put a piece of sausage in there so I ate that all right then the other thing I wanted was just a regular plain sausage McMuffin because you got to order two you know a five uh, one of one of them wouldn't fill up a five-year-old girl and I take a bite of that no not what I ordered I got a bacon and egg biscuit which I like but I had to pay for that because they the price was different than it usually is oh and then you know what else it dripped all over my face so I got the bag I gotta wipe my face 
with the bag because they didn't give me no napkin. <sighs> Have you guys noticed that if something's out of order nowadays, they don't even, they don't do nothing. They don't put no sign up where I get my water every, well, every time I need water, it's just one of them little kiosks, you know, you can get a bag of ice or whatever. So I go there the other day and there's a sign on it. Hey, at least there's a sign. This is what the sign said, broked, B-R-O-K-E-D, waiting on part, and he spelled waiting, W-A-I-T-I-N, and I had a pen, I couldn't resist, I had a pen in the truck, and I wrote on the bottom of it, order two, that way when it breaks again, you got another part. We can't even move away, man, because everywhere's like this. I'm telling you guys. All right. I am in Cawthron, Arkansas. We're about ready to go into Oklahoma. Yeah. This is the road I used to turn on every day, 27 miles away, to go to work. Right down this road here. just breeze through this town at 60 miles an hour in a 45 mile an hour zone. Thank goodness there wasn't no cops there. Alright, I'm going to get off here. Got to wipe my face with the paper bag. <sighs> it worked. It's not my day, folks. Yep. I knew I was going to get stuck by a train. Thank God that's not very big. Boy, did I put my foot in my mouth about 10 minutes ago, but I can't even speak about it because this is YouTube. I'll think about it. Try to figure a way to tell you. All right, guys. I, I don't know how to tell this story, but it has to be told because it's too funny. I, you would think by my age, I would learn my lesson. Nope, yeah, I just haven't. So I stop in, uh, it's called the Choctaw Travel Plaza. Cause I got, I had to get, uh, that's where I buy my tobacco. And I have taste for beer. So pick me up a little beer. I don't drink beer that often. So I go in the beer cave. It's a big old room that's refrigerated. It's fun in there in the summer. And I find what I need. And it's pretty much slim pickings cause it's Sunday. And, uh, but boy, there's a whole wall full of Bud Light. And, you know, I ain't really bought any beer since that thing started. So I ain't noticed. So I'd get it, I put it on the counter. What I, I didn't get no Bud Light. I put it on the counter and there's nobody at the counter and I'm waiting, I'm, I'm waiting. Finally, the girl comes up. She starts ringing up what I, what I got. <laughs> I gotta make a comment. I says, boy, they really ain't buying that Bud Light, huh? Everybody's too embarrassed to touch it. And the girl looks at me and goes, I got something the other day in that kind of voice. And then I look, it ain't no woman. It's one of them transvestor lights. I ain't never seen one of them here. And I'm like, man, I am not saying another word. That, I mean, you talk about, I could have said anything. I had to say that. I got the dirtiest look, man. And I thought it was a woman. I really did. Man, you don't know who's what anymore. I'll tell you what. And I got the truck. I just, oh, I'm like, oh, man, that's funny. Because <laughs> I know, why would I even care? Why would I even ask that? I don't know. Uh so there, if I get in trouble on YouTube for saying that, whatever, you know, but it's a true story. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, who to thunk it? All right, we just, just now rolled into Arkansas. Thank God. I ain't ever going back to Oklahoma. What has happened? Maybe I don't get out enough. No, I don't, I don't need to get out anymore, I guess. Man. Maybe that's where I need to be in church. Ah, no. Oh, I hear you, boy. Let me get the chair. 
when you get the chair, it's chair time. Do you know what? This is a, I know, but this is a different kind of night because we're filming something that I've been doing for 10 years that they don't know about. That we have chair time every night. I know, look at my boy. Every night, for at least 20, 30 minutes, I come in with these two. Waldo and Ellie, they're my oldest dogs. Look at him, and it's my boy. And you gotta spend time with them, man. You got dogs or cats, you gotta spend time with them. Yeah, look at him, he's just so happy. He looks forward to this so much every night, yeah. And I think that's what keeps you alive, because you're an old boy, but you never grow up. Look at your face, it's getting all white. You're older than me now. You are! Come here, Lily. And she's all nice, but when I do this to Lily, watch how she changes. You know what, Lily? I've had you. She knows it's coming. So she was a bitty baby! Bitty baby! Bitty baby! Old daddy's kidding. Come on, get up here. They don't know what we do every night. They don't. They don't. They're my babies. That's why you got a dog apartment. I didn't go to let you sit out in the heat when you're old age. In your old age, no. Uh, my boy, he loves it. You get all excited, Lily. I don't know why. Yeah, he's a good boy. Oh. This boy acts like he's a year old, man. He always, he's never slowed down. You're, you're 12. You're 12 years old, boy. You don't even know it. What's on your ear? What they see? There's nothing. There's nothing on your ear. What do you think of, what do you think of the economy, boy? Yeah, I know, it's terrible. They charge like 14, dude. They charge like 14 bucks for a sandwich now. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, they were like four dollars a few years ago. I know, oh, Lily. Fourteen dollars. It's un it's unreal. I know. I know. Oh, oh. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You're, a battery for a vehicle is like one up two hundred percent. We went to get Jeff a battery, they want 200 bucks. I told Jeff, no, don't do it. He did it. He did it, yeah, he did, I ain't lying to you. He paid 200 bucks for a battery. Yeah, I know. What do you think of that, Lily? Why are you stepping my shoes? Oh, because I was at Jeff's earlier. Yeah, he's got cats. You don't like cats, you know why? Cause you was a witty witty baby, witty witty baby. <laughs> They're my baby. Guys, I didn't have anything else to finish this video with, but I hope I don't get in trouble for what I, but that was a true story. I'm not kidding you about the Bud Light. Woo. I would have never guessed that would have happened there. I did not buy Bud Light, Coors Light. Wow. What are you looking at? Come here, Lily. But every night, I don't think I've ever shown this. Every night, that's why this chair is in here. I come in here and sit for at least a half an hour with them, maybe 20 minutes. And you have to do that with dogs. I mean, you, you can't just put them in a yard or a room like this and never interact with them. You have to. And Waldo will let you know there's a camera right there. He knows there's a camera and he will get stand right here and he will look up and he'll bark at that camera till I come in here and they get their time. And then they do this, they run out, they don't come back in because their daddy time is fulfilled. All right guys, thanks for watching. I know, two videos in one day. Who'd have thunk that? But here it is. Love your dogs. 
And I guess since Bob Barker's gone now, I gotta take over. Spay and neuter your dogs and cats and goats. Does anybody spay and neuter goats? I don't know why you would even have goats. Yeah, you could do that with them. Sheep. Do you spay and neuter horses and cows? I don't know, man. Happy trail. Are you back? I was getting ready to end the video, boy. Come here. Did you see my shirt? It says the Beagles. Yeah, you're a Beagle. Look here, the Beagles. You're too young because you're only 12. But that is Peter, Paul, Ringo. Who the heck's that? George and George. And they got a big famous album. Yeah. But they're the Beatles. You're the you're part of the Beagles. And this is my boy Wakens. Them's always been my boy. Wait. I don't know where where's Waldo? Where is Waldo? Waldo! Waldo! Where you at? Where you at, Waldo? Well, Lily, have you seen Waldo? I don't know where he is. Where is he? Waldo! Come on! Come on, Waldo! Where is he? Oh! You're right there. You've been there the whole time. Why haven't you ate your supper? Why? I don't know anything about that. Uh, him's my boy. Him's my good boy. Alright. I was going to end the video. But then he came in. You know how Waldo is. That's how he does. Oh. Oh. Let's scratch your back. He loves that. Mm -hmm. What if I just stop real suddenly and I don't pay no attention to you no more? What are you going to do then? Oh, he says, you ain't ignoring me, Daddy. Oh, look at him, look at him. Let's scratch him up. Let's scratch him up. Ooh, he's a handsome boy. He's a handsome boy. Are you ready to go to the old Beagle home? Well, I'm going to, yeah, but I'm going to send you and tell you. I can't send just one Beagle to the old Beagle home. I got to send at least two or three. What about, we'll keep Tilly for another year or two. And then you and Tilly can go off to the old Beagle home, okay? Oh, oh. Uh, but hey, hey, you know, they got walkers that you can use and special needs showers, things like that. The old Beagle home. Oh, oh. Uh, the old Beagle home. No? Okay, well, maybe we'll wait a week. We'll let you stay another week. Then you can go to the old Beagle home. Uh, you, know, you know Daddy would never send you to the old Beagle home. Never, never, never. Yeah, I might. I might. What about Lily? You're not a Beagle. So I don't know where to send you to the old Mud home. Come here. You want to go to the old mud home? Because we don't know. I have never figured out what breed you are even close to. I don't know what you are. But I do know this. You came here. When you was a winner, baby. Winner, baby. Winner, baby. Winner, baby. Ah, you killed me. Bye, right, guys. Happy trails.